I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in to another edition of Know What I'm Saying, live right here on Brotherhood TV. I am your host, Diesel Greasel, and y'all already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? It's been a whole minute since I tuned in, man. I know I really been on some nigga shit with the show, you know what I'm saying, on my own schedule. But that's because we really be working hard behind the scenes, man, you know what I'm saying? Really, we got a lot of things we're trying to do at once, so... uh Sometimes the schedule doesn't permit for us to get in here and do our thing like we want to. And if we can't do it right, we're not going to do it. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I apologize for the delay, but we here now. And, uh, man, I'm going to start it off with some double standards in America, man. You know, um, I specialize in calling out the bullshit. Real, real spill. Now, um, I don't know if a lot of y'all know uh, WNBA superstar. Brittany Griner, you know what I'm saying? Her and her girlfriend were both arrested for domestic abuse, you know what I'm saying? Beating up on each other. And then, I mean, and it's funny because it's like, man, when everything's been happening with the NFL, with the Ray Rice situation, everyone who has a post is pretty much aware of what happened with the Ray Rice thing, you know what I'm saying? And so um, they wanted to tar and feather the homie Ray Rice. Adrian Peterson on the child abuse, which is another form of domestic violence. They wanted to tar and feather that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the homeboy from the uh, Panthers, what's his name? Kevin Hardy, the linebacker. Well, now he's a cowboy. You know, he fighting his domestic violence case. And then niggas come out the woodworks. Where is everyone clamoring for Brittany Griner and her girlfriend, Gloria Johnson, who both in the NBA? So both parties are in, the, are, are in the WNBA. Both women are. You know what I'm saying? Both of them are stars in the league. Both of them engaged in this... This fight, no one is saying these bitches should lose their jobs, man. No one is coming out and saying a woman shouldn't hit a woman. All this, I mean, like, one of these bitches is obviously the man in their relationship, you know what I'm saying? This is a lesbian relationship. So one of them is a man hitting a woman, or at least a bitch pretending to be a man hitting a woman, which, you know what I'm saying, that got to count for something, you know? No one's even talking about it. I post about it on Facebook. You motherfuckers been real quiet. I noticed. You motherfuckers been real quiet. You know what I'm saying? And it's because you full of shit and I just call it out. Like, even all the dudes that was like, oh, Ray's a pussy. He shouldn't hit a woman. Oh, no. Is Britney a pussy? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we know she has a pussy, but that bitch is built like a man because the whole premise is, you know what? A man can hurt a woman. Britney Griner, that bitch is like seven foot eight. You know what I'm saying? This is lurch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Lurch can hurt a motherfucker, but everyone's okay with this, man. So it's just something to think about. Something to think about. The problem is... Americans think domestic violence is just a man hitting a woman, man. Domestic violence is any two motherfuckers that's that's personal getting into it. Whether it's motherfucking mom and pop, mom and, and son, son and dad, brother and brother. These are family members. That's domestic violence. But the only time y'all give a fuck about is when a man hits a woman. Get off y'all fucking high horse, man. Nobody should be hitting anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not condoning domestic violence. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is what's good for the goose is good for the gander or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? If we going to hold one superstar to a high standard, hold them all. And like, and just to put it in, in perspective, Brittany Griner just helped the Phoenix Mercury win their third WNBA championship. She led the league with a record 129 blocks. This bitch is a star. This is as big as it gets in their game. Arguably the face of the league. This is the equivalent of LeBron James. Smacking his woman, you know what I'm saying? And Lord forbid LeBron ever, ever make a mistake. You already know how y'all gonna come out and try to time feather him, man. But all I'm saying, man, is bullshit. It's motherfucking bullshit. Just keeping it 100. On to the other news, man. Uh, this right here, is, man, this shit bothers me. It hits close to home. Y'all know, you know, I'm pretty outspoken about my views and how I feel about shit. You know what I'm saying? Those of you who tune into the show on a regular basis, you know what the fuck to expect. You tune in because you love me or hate me, but you watch. You know what I'm saying? And I don't motherfucking blame you. You know what I'm saying? You you tune in because you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, Eric Shepard. Remember the name. You know what I'm saying? Many of y'all might not know who Eric Shepard is, but Eric is a student at Valdosta State University in Georgia. All right? And Eric drops some knowledge, man. Eric is a prime example of what happens when a young black man makes white people feel funny 
make white people feel uncomfortable, but they're going to do to your ass. Now, you know what I'm saying? But those of you who are not aware of what he did, I'm going to roll the video. Y'all check out the video. Six, you all were fighting for you all's freedom and equality against who? The British. Your forefathers and your foremothers. 1776, you still had chattel slaves, did you not? We did. All right. And thereafter, up until 1865, you released them from chattel slavery, but put them into another form of slavery immediately, which was the prison system, the convict lease system. You see what I'm saying? So okay. now we, were, we have not only inherited physical slavery, but we've also inherited spiritual slavery under the form of the, you, people were asking, why do you have the Bibles on the ground? How do you think we are spiritually enslaved? With that Christianity, that white Jesus that the slave master has put on the African's mind. But it doesn't now, say that Jesus or the words white. Now, I know that. But we he's know saying that. white people Listen, Christianity. Revelation 21 13, okay. no, we know that that disproves. Oh man, we got to crowd I started some. Ooh, ooh, I did. Y'all can come in and listen if y'all are going there truly and quiet and not try to interject while I'm speaking to them. But. We know that Revelation 21, 13 says that he had hair like wool mm -hmm. and skin like bronze. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, it doesn't matter what is said in the Bible, but what is put forth and what is perpetuated. The interpretation that is perpetuated, the interpretation that was perpetuated was that Jesus was white. Okay, so what do you do psychologically? The, the psychosis of religion is that a people always put themselves in the image of their Savior, their God. So they see that they are one with God and they act as God and they do what they feel God wants uh, to happen for them. God is simply self. Everybody gets this lesson except for the African who has been colonized by the European. So what you do to the African when you give them a white Jesus is you're saying, I'm the closest related to God, therefore you defer to me. That subconscious white supremacy that you're instilling in the African mind that African people don't seem to get when they praise white Jesus. But they praise a black Jesus and they actually start to read the revolutionary text that was actually install, still installed in the, in the European Bibles, you'll see that Jesus wasn't all docile and neutral or loving. He was flipping tables and clearing temples out with bullwhips, you see, when people were doing wicked things. So when you start to embody that revolutionary spirit as Christ did, was he not a revolutionary in the Bible? So if people are, say, are saying we need to be Christians, do you really know what it means to be a Christian? It means not to conform to the social order. Was this a conformity to the social order, what I did? Not at all. So who's God right now? Who's truly acting in the Christ consciousness? Not you all. Not them, but us. Us who act in the Christ consciousness. We embody what it means to be a Christ being, a Christ vehicle, a Christ vessel. You see what I'm saying? So the meaning, the meaning, I want y'all to focus on me. I know what she's saying. The meaning, <laughs> the meaning for the stepping on the flag was that that flag represents white supremacy racism which is plaguing the entire earth you see so when we step on that flag we're stepping on racism white supremacy we're stepping on those things that mean that we're erected alongside our genocide and our holocaust we're stepping we're releasing those chains from our mental capacity and from our physical capacity. Okay. you see so you're not see, that's why i came over to see you're not spitting on the people who are serving overseas you're at all spitting on the idea idea of the roxanne that makes sense that makes a lot of sense that's why i came in as yeah. right and i'm glad you all came in as because i'm sure the white media put it forth that i am a terrorist and indeed i am i'm a terrorist towards lies i'm a terrorist towards liars i'm a terrorist towards those who are wicked so yes i am a terrorist towards white people you see so it needs to be understood and what i was just saying to her what i'm saying to you all is a warning of death that is coming upon this nation if y'all don't turn from y'all's ways and this is the collective white race but not just here in america globally all europeans you're not even indigenous to europe in every nation or every region of the planet earth that you're in you are an invader go back historically the british invaded damn near half of the world you see what i'm saying yeah. and other europeans have invaded other regions of the world but all, every time you've gone in, what have you done? You have done nothing but destroy. We were, and mind you, again, historically, one thing that most people don't know, it was Africans who brought civilization to Europe. Twice. Once under the Egyptians, we were bringing in the, the Greeks and the Romans, and then the second time under the Black Moors, who we were bringing in and truly establishing the elaboration of civilization. So that's why we step on that flag because that flag represents lies it represents deceit it represents the glory of white people that they like to put forth and here's the thing you can see the psychosis of europeans where they value the, the menial things and not the grander things where are we at we're in Valdosta, georgia right kendrick johnson's death was covered up 
So you care more about a cloth on the ground and me stepping on it with a boot than a black man's death. You're out your fucking mind. White people have been out their fucking mind ever since they stepped out of Europe. So that's what it is. All right. Now, y'all have had an opportunity to see the video. The young man, very well spoken, all he did was regurgitate European history. You know what I'm saying? That's all he did was tell white people what they have done and let them know, man, y'all are out y'all fucking minds with the perspective y'all have on things and just omitting your history, you know? So, in the midst of all this, he, uh, he stepped on the American flag and allegedly burned the American flag, man. All right, now, I don't know if those things are criminal offenses or, or not, but the next day, you got all types of pro-American people coming out of the woodworks, so they're on the campus protesting with their American flags, and they're directing his protest, these protests at Eric. You know, allegedly, Eric threatens them, makes terroristic threats, and then the cops are called. So the cops, they interrogate them. They have a somewhat peaceful standoff, the cops are like, yo, man, we heard you making terrorist threats. Mr. Shepard is like, man, I'm not a fuck to making terrorist threats. I'm not armed. You're armed right now. You're posing more of a threat than me. They chop it up. And the police let the man go. This happened without incident. Beautiful thing, by the way. This happens without incident. Fast forward. After he's gone, all of a sudden they allegedly find a backpack that is linked to him that has a gun in it. And they now label him armed and dangerous and start a statewide manhunt. You know what I'm saying? You just had the guy in custody. He didn't pose a threat. After y'all let him go, people say he threatened some people. Y'all take their word for it. And y'all label him as a fucking terrorist. And now you got a, a statewide manhunt open. You know what I'm saying? The dude did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong but made white people feel insecure about their position in, in this country. Made them um, acknowledge some of the elements that they have used to to make sure white supremacy exists in the state that we know it as. And they label him as a fucking terrorist. And now, you know, I don't know how this is going to end. All I know is the way black men are getting hunted down by the police, I don't see this ending well. Especially since they placed the T word on the dude. You know what I'm saying? They've labeled him a terrorist. And all he did was have a peaceful protest. You know what I'm saying? And now they're worried about uh, a black man shooting up a college. Newsflash, white people, man. When has a black dude ever shot up a college? You know what I'm saying? Let, let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? When? When have we ever shot up a college? That's not what we do. You know what I'm saying? That's not what we do at all. We know who does that. You know what I'm saying? Check your history books. You know who does that. It's not us. You know what I'm saying? It's not us by any shape, form, or fashion. But now y'all laying this dude as a terrorist. His daddy's on TV pleading, please, son, turn yourself in. You know, I raised you to do better. Man, this shit has gotten blown all out of proportion. And all he did was educate some people, man. And that's scary, bro. That's fucking scary because that's what I do every single time, man. Word, man, that's some scary shit. Scary shit. You know what I'm saying? And now, since we're on the subject of the police being called, man, it's, it's crazy. Since the last time I've talked to y'all, three black men... Three unarmed black men have been gunned down by the police, man. Three. So it's just the last time I've talked to y'all. It seems like we just keep having these same conversations, man. But we got Freddie Gray in Baltimore. We got Walter Scott in South Carolina. And then we got um, Eric Harris in, in Tulsa. This shit is crazy, man. Like, if you haven't been following the story of Freddie Gray, man, 25-year-old, gets pulled over for whatever, man. It doesn't even matter why they stopped this dude. They beat his ass and severed his spine. Matter of fact, watch the video. Right. Right. His leg look broke. Look at his leg. Look at his leg. That boy leg look broke. His leg broke and y'all dragging him like that. Right. Right. His leg look broke. Look at his leg. Look at his leg. That boy leg look broke. His leg broke and y'all dragging him like that.
Vai. Vai. His leg look broke. Look at his leg. Look at his leg. That boy leg look broke. His leg broke and y'all dragging him like that. Man, the first time I saw the video, I'll be honest, I couldn't even watch it, man. I couldn't. I couldn't even watch this shit because just seeing his legs dangling there, man, his spine is broke. And then they throw this dude in the back of a pa pa the back of a paddy wagon with no motherfucking seatbelt or nothing. We don't know that how much further damage that does to his spine by him rolling around in a fucking paddy wagon like a carpet. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know. He goes to the hospital. He ends up dying a week later because a severed spine. You know how bad the police got to beat your ass to sever your spine? This is fucking ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. Thank God it's called a videotape, but the videotape can't bring this person back, man. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Walter Scott. Y'all been following Walter Scott. He got shot in the back eight times, and then the cop planted a taser on him. You know what I'm saying? We got that video. You know what I'm saying? So y'all check out this video. I want y'all to see what they are doing to your people, to your sons, to your fathers, to your uncles, man. Like y'all really need to open up your eyes and realize what the police are doing and getting away with. Y'all check out the video. seen the video of Walter Scott. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for the person that was walking by who decided not to mind their own business and videotape this. Because if he doesn't videotape this, this goes down as whatever that cracker-ass cop said happened. 
You know what I'm saying? Without the visual evidence, this is just another Michael Brown situation. You know what I'm saying? This is another Trayvon Martin situation. This is another, I mean, man, there's so many names. You already know, you know what I'm saying? There's so many names. This is just another, the police said situation. But because of this undisputable evidence, they have charged the cop, and he's being held without bail. That in itself is a fucking miracle. You know what I'm saying? That they charged this dude, you know? So they're holding him without bail because they got no choice. It's undisputable evidence. But you know what? It's always a motherfucker out there saying, but... But try to justify what the fuck is happening to young black men. Not young black men, the black men, period. You know what I'm saying? We're endangered species, and this is what's happening to us. And it's a motherfucker that has the audacity to say but, as if they can justify what's happened to us. You know what I'm saying? We got coons trying to justify it. We got white people trying to justify it. At the end of the day, you can't justify it. You know what I'm saying? You can't fucking justify it. And then we got Robert Bates kills Eric Harris. This is a volunteer fucking police officer. What the fuck is that? You get to volunteer to go shoot niggas? You know what I'm saying? How the hell you sign up for this? A volunteer police officer. You're paying to, to go do this job. So you shoot a motherfucker because you think you reach for your taser. You think you're reaching for your taser, so you nonchalantly shoot a black man. First off, you know why you made the mistake of reaching for your gun instead of your taser? Because you're not a real cop. This ain't what you do for a living. You know what I'm saying? You, you fucking got your rocks off. You killed a black man. And then what do they allow you to do? They allow you to post bond and leave the country on vacation. This motherfucker's in the Bahamas on vacations because he's not considered a flight risk. Because all he, all he did was kill a nigga. He know he's going to get off. Why would he run? Why would he run? That's why they don't consider him a flight risk. They don't just say, let, let this play out. Let the fucking judicial system do its thing. And this dude's going to get off. Open a shut case. I already know. We already know. You know what I'm saying? At, at the worst, involuntary manslaughter, first defense, old white man, you on paper. You know what I'm saying? I already know how this shit's going to play out, man. Meanwhile, niggas killing niggas. Meanwhile, this old fuck-ass nigga Rico they just apprehended killed two black people in my town. You know what I'm saying? We killing us. They killing us. Everybody killing us, nigga. We're the most aborted babies, nigga. We got more babies being aborted than being born. We got people We got people that look like me getting locked up for football sentences, nigga, 21 and up years that have never seen the light of day again. We got children with no fathers, and you wonder why we're in a dangerous species, and you motherfuckers don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? You don't fucking believe it. But the bottom line is, is you ain't got to believe it for some shit to be true, nigga. You can close your eyes and try to imagine the sun ain't there. That don't stop that shit from shining. You know what I'm, I'm done, man. I'm about to wrap this shit up, man. I'm going to wrap it up. You know what As you can see, I'm very passionate about this shit. Because I want my people to wake up. You know what I'm saying? And I want everyone else that don't look like me to wake up and stop thinking that we're making this shit up. You know what I'm saying? The police target us. Point blank, period. I'm out this bitch.